Um, advice I'd give for, to anybody entering the British hairdressing awards would be to be quite organised, to plan and prepare, really think about your ideas, get amazing mood boards together, and then speak to the photographer very, very thoroughly beforehand as well. So everybody's kind of working from the same sort of song sheet. You all know exactly what you're, you, you're doing and what you want to achieve. And I think the main thing is getting the team right, make sure you can work well with your team and that you're all in the same mode and got the same idea and you're working to the same brief. Because if everybody's got it right, then you're going to get a really smooth collection. Whereas if one thing's off, then it just rocks the boat, I think. Oh, research. Research is the ultimate. You've got to research what you're doing, uh, get a lot of um, advice from people of, of actually being nominated in the award, whether they've won it or not. Uh, look, look for advice from people who know, know what they're doing and are experienced in that field and, and take all criticism and help you can get. Um, not necessarily spend a lot of money. Um, I just think if you start working hard, um, doing a lot of research, you know, going on the internet, looking at all the models, getting the sort of um, concept that you want for your collection, it's just it's just taking the time out to sort of look for models in the street, in the salon. You know, you don't necessarily have to go to an agency and spend thousands on a model. We get a lot of good client male models. Um, we get a lot of good looking clients come in the salon, so use them. Because it's great, that's what we do, it's our job. It's nothing more exciting within the industry than the Richard Dressing Awards. 